Jesus came to save mankind from death. But he had a secondary mission against the gods. In a time long past, God divided the people of the earth and appointed angels to rule over mankind. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. In the Greek Septuagint, God gives the nations to the angelos theos, which means the angels of God. In the Dead Sea Scrolls, God gives the nations to the Beneha Elohim, which are the sons of God, angels. The number of the children of Israel is 70, according to Genesis 46. God gives 70 nations to 70 angels to rule over and chooses Israel as his people in verse 9. There's more scripture that tells of these angelic rulers. In Psalm 82, Elohim is in his heavenly council judging among the lesser gods. Elohim is unhappy with how the lesser gods are treating the inhabitants of the earth. God tells the lesser gods that they will die like men and fall like one of the princes. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. The gods are threatened by Elohim with being cast down to the earth like one of the princes. We find these accounts not just in scripture, but also in mythology. In the story of Atlantis, the gods, led by Poseidon, divide the world among themselves and judge each other on their treatment of mankind in the Critias. In the story of Mount Olympus, the gods, led by Zeus, divide the world among themselves after victory against the Titans in the Titanomachy. Is there more to our mythologies than merely myth? Who were the princes that Elohim mentioned as having been cast to the earth? We read about the fall of Lucifer in Revelation 12. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Lucifer wasn't the only angel that was cast to the earth. The watchers fell from heaven, they chose to rebel against Elohim and became mortal. They took human women as their wives, fathered the Nephilim, and taught forbidden knowledge to mankind. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, all of which they chose. And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied in those days, were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose wives from among the children of men, and beget us children. And they were in all two hundred, who descended in the days of Jared, on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon, because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. We see these angelic rulers of the nations in the book of Daniel. They are called princes. 
Michael the Archangel battles against the Prince of Persia. But the Prince of the Kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the Prince of Persia, and when I am gone forth, lo, the Prince of Grecia shall come. Here, Scripture tells us that there is an evil spiritual prince of Persia and one of Greece. Contrary to mainstream belief, Michael, the archangel, is not the leader of God's armies, but the prince set over Israel. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. We struggle against these princes. Many times the New Testament uses the words rulers and principalities to describe these angels over the nations. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Not only did Jesus Christ come to save mankind from sin, but he also came to defeat these princes of the air. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. These princes are not demons. In a separate video, we will study the children of the Watchers, the Nephilim, whose spirits are the demons that roam the earth.